What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. Welcome to the next episode, episode 14 of our Game Maker Studio 2 Top Down Shooter Series. This has been a long awaited video. I know it's took me forever to get back to this, but I am back, I'm ready to record, and I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, the other content I've been putting out, like in Unreal Engine. Um, I think those videos will continue to be released in a series as well, along with this one and with my Game Salad series. Um, I do want to start some new series as well, so if you have ideas, please let me know, as well as doing some speed level designs. Anyway, back to what we're doing today. We're adding thrusters using particle effects. So, I know a lot of you guys have wanted to learn how to do particle effects, and you mentioned it during my explosions episode where I explain animations. Um, so, I'm going to show you how to use particle effects to make thrusters. In the next episode, I'll show you how to upgrade our explosions um, with particle effects and actually make those explode as well. So the next two episodes are dedicated to particle effects. So we're in our uh, game and let's go ahead and save this as um, episode 14. Alright, so let's go into our room. So let's go to rooms and double click on room 0. And look at this wonderful looking room, that's great. Okay, so we're missing our side wall here, so let's go to uh, reset the layout. Open up our room again. There it is, I don't know why that went away. Anyway, um, on the left side, you should see uh, three different sections. We have our layers, our instance layer properties, and our properties. We're gonna go into properties and go to creation code. And creation code is gonna run as soon as the room is run. So we want to create our particle system and our particle type right when the room is run. And then we can um, have it burst out of our plane um, whenever we want it to. So on the right side, using drag and drop, we're gonna scroll down and you'll see particles way at the bottom. And we wanna create a particle system. And uh, we want a persistent particle system that's running all the time and we're going to call this global because we want it accessible to everywhere and we're going to call this um, p system global p system all right so now we need to create a particle type and we're going to call this global dot thrusters actually global dot p thrusters particle thrusters just so we know that it's a particle all right, so now we have a particle system and a particle type. So we need to start um, adding all these cool little effects to it. So let's start with particle size. So we want to copy and paste our particle type, which is global.pthrusters, and paste it where it has type here. And we'll say, um, I already have some ideas here. So particle size from 0.2 to 0.4 and then we also have an increase and a wiggle which we won't do in this one uh, the next one that we can do is set particle shape we're not going to use a sprite because I don't have a sprite for this but um, particle systems do have their own set of built-in sprites and shapes so we'll drag in particle shape and we're going to again paste in the type global p thrusters and we're going to choose uh, smoke because smoke's going to be coming out of the thrusters all right so let's see, after shape we have particle color and we want to paste again the P thrusters. We're going to start it at red. So let's go all the way to red. We'll change it to yellow after. And then we'll have it at white after that. So that's cool. So it'll start at red, then yellow, then white. All right, what's next? So now we have alpha. So let's drag in alpha, and we're gonna paste um, our global.p thrusters, and alpha is transparency. So we're gonna start, uh, what did I do last time? We're gonna start at 0.5, so it's already a little bit invisible, and go to 0.25, and then go to zero, so it just completely disappears. Cool. Uh, now we're going to set particle life, and this is going to be the frames that it lasts. So we're gonna say it can last between, um, 30, which is about half a second, and 90, which is a second and a half if you're running at 60 frames a second. All right, so after that, 
we have particle speed. So particle speed, um, we're going to set to minimum speed one is fine, but we want them to fly out a little faster. So we'll say max speed four. And um, we can leave that as is. And then after speed, what's here? Direction. All right, so direction is a little bit interesting because we want the direction to kind of go downwards. So um, we're gonna do between uh, 260 and 280 because 270 is completely down so we're giving it like 10 degrees to the left and 10 degrees to the right and then um, we can also give it a little bit of a wiggle so we'll give it 10 as a wiggle so it can kind of jump even a little bit more between that uh, so after direction we have orientation we don't need that gravity no secondary particles nope 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 no. so I think we're done so we have um, a particle now that changes in size has a smoke shape changes in color from red to yellow to white uh, starts to disappear over its lifetime and lasts a random lifetime between half a second and a second and a half it has a, a random speed and it has a direction of downwards so now we have a really cool thruster um, particle system but how do we make it work so let's go into our object and go to object player and let's go ahead and go to the step event because we want this happening all the time and at the top of the step event we're going to go down to particles and we're going to use burst particles now the system we're going to use is global dot p system and the type is going to be global dot p thrusters and we're going to set this relative both ways. Uh, how many did I set the count to? We'll leave it at, we'll set the count to 50. Now, if we hit play, it's not quite going to be done yet because um, it's going to be centered on our plane. We're going to have to mess with the Y axis to push it down a little bit, but let's just see what happens. So let's hit play, make sure everything works and I don't get any errors here. Great, and now we have a really cool already looking effect. It's just a little bit too high. Um, so we have some cool particle effects flying everywhere and it follows our plane. Uh, so let's close this. And let's say uh, 30. And I play. It might have to be negative 30, I don't remember. No, that looks good, it pushed it down. So good, now it's coming out the back of our plane. And I think it's starting to look pretty cool. We can even add these types of effects to our enemies if we wanted to. And um, give them a trail behind them uh, just to make it look interesting. But um, obviously there's a lot of possibilities for this thruster style effect. Um, in the next episode, we're going to make a uh, explosion effect. Besides our cheap little animation explosion, we're going to use real particles just like our thruster, and um, we'll see how that looks, all right? So stay tuned, and uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.